Hey, what's going on YouTube and the PlayStation Show.com? This is Pantera Down 2, and I'm taking a look at something that just came out yesterday. It is the ice cream sandwich update for um, the Asus Transformer um, from Asus. The the 10.1 inch tablet that um, came out in April of last year um, finally got its update. It's been a long time coming. I've been waiting for it. Um, so I just want to show you some of the functionality that it comes with. Um, first thing I noticed was just how snappy the screen is now. Just just lightning fast. Very quick. And if you hold an icon, like that icon follows your finger really well. It's it's not slow at all. Very nice. Um the the one big update or cool thing is the task manager over here. They added the power bar where you got your um your satellite, your refresh, your sound, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, and your auto turn of the screen. You got all your messages all in a nice organized area. Um, the email looks better. It looks more clean and fresh. Um, and of course, the icons down here changed a lot. Um, the Wi-Fi signal icon looks different the clock looks a little bit um, has a thinner font and and it's blue everything's blue it's very nice um, of course the, the gmail your own email all just looks really really cool um, the apps have a new um, way that they that they go away they kind of when one goes away the other one pops out at you and kind of goes falls away when you zip away from it so it's pretty neat um, the file manager looks different now and it's much more functional um, you click on the file file manager over here um, before it didn't have this side tab here and and then these quick options these quick options are new for pictures um, camera, music, and downloads. Those are all brand. That's that's really cool. So you can go to those very important things very quickly, um, and then has the side all your downloads and, and files and everything, and games and whatever you have. It, it's much more accessible. Everything. Um, so let's go back to the home screen. Another big thing is that they added, like, uh, it's not that big a deal. But you can you can see what screen you are on by that little clicker thing and how many um, screens you have. So it it goes there. Um, Google search is on every screen now. It used to just be on the home screen. See, it stays in that same spot no matter where you are. Um, also, the settings are different. The bars over here are different. There's an Asus customized settings where Asus has all of their personal stuff. Um, there's also the screen screenshot option. See if you select that icon, you can use the recent apps key to take a snapshot of any screen you're on, which is new um, to Android. Um, this this bar on the side is much more organized. It shows everything all in all in separate categories like system, personal, um, devices, and wireless networking. See, wireless networking, devices, personal. And you scroll down. You got system, so you know where everything is really easily. Oh, and this is not just 4.0. It is 4.0.3. So there's a couple of fixes that probably came for this that, because um, 4.0 isn't exactly perfect, so they fixed a few things, patched in a couple of things. Looks like three different patches came with it. Um, another big thing is the camera has some new features. 
It's a little bit hard to show on here because um, I'm just going to hold that up. You can see my... Or, no, you can't. Um, this is not really good for taking a picture. I'm going to point this up here so I can show you guys uh, something. That's my stereo, my records. Um, what you have is like the options. Let me hold this out as far as I can. You got these all these options here, um, which aren't that much different than what they used to be. Um, I think the Prime has better options in the camera. Like there's some picture augmentation that you can do. Um, there's not really any of that here, but they did add the panoramic picture thing that you can do. So you can take one picture and then move it over and then try to line up the pictures so that you can get one big wide panoramic picture. I'm not showing this very easily. This is kind of difficult. So, um, the camera, the interface looks different. That's the biggest update about the camera. Um, here, let me point the camera down again. Okay. Um, one other cool thing is the browser. It's faster. Um, I wouldn't say I tried using Google Chrome the app, but it's still in beta, so it doesn't doesn't work quite as as good as I think it should. Let's go to my, one of my favorite sites, the PlayStationShow.com, and it, it loads fairly quickly. Not as quickly as I would have liked. So there's the PlayStationShow.com. Um, one neat thing that I like is if you pull down the settings, it adds a save for offline reading and a request desktop sites, so that I don't have to look for that switch to you know turn off mobile and turn off the mobile site at the bottom of the screen, you know. Like most sites have, like, let's see, it's usually down here somewhere, whatever. I, I just, I hate it when it takes me to a mobile device, on, a mobile site on the on this, because it's supposed to look like this. This is, you're supposed to be looking at the internet with um, this device. So, um, I like those two things. So I could read something offline. Um, I don't know what these incognito pages are for. Oh, okay. Pages you view in this tab won't appear in your browser history or search history, and they won't leave other traces like cookies on your device after you close the incognito tab. Any files you download or bookmarks you create will be preserved. However, going incognito doesn't affect the behavior of the people's, of other people, servers, and software. Be wary of websites that collect or share information about you, blah, blah, blah. So I guess the, those are new. Those things don't um, save your history at all. So I didn't know that. Um, what else? What else is new about Ice Cream Sandwich? Um, oh, the, um, the widgets are now in here. Instead of being... I, I, I kind of like them when they were down here and then that thing would pop up because then you could throw them up onto different screens because I, I don't know where the different screens are. I mean, if you hold one, it just comes out onto here and then you would have to hold it to the left or the right where you wanted it to go. So those are some of the options for the email. Um... But it, it shows the apps in a larger screen. You didn't have to, sc before you had to scroll, scroll, scroll to the left. It only showed like three or four apps at a, or widgets at a time. 
So now it shows a ton of widgets all on one screen, which is is nice. I can really find what I'm looking for easier. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's just about it as far as um, ice cream sandwich goes. So far it runs great. It's very fast as you can see. There's no lag whatsoever. Um, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. It was a nice surprise yesterday because I didn't know it was coming out. So if you're in the market for one of these tablets, this one is getting to be pretty cheap now since the, the Android um, Asus Transformer Prime is out. This one is still a great buy. I think I saw somewhere recently that it was $249 if you search the internet um, for this tablet. Um, it's very nice. I, I, I still love it. You still got the live wallpapers and stuff. That's, this is a good one. S set as wallpaper. So yeah, the Asus Transformer, this is the TF101 model, the original Transformer, with ice cream sandwich, 4.0.3, and it's running great. I have no complaints. Thanks for watching this video. Um, any questions, just uh, hit me up on PanteraDown2 on Twitter, or PanteraDown2 on YouTube, or wherever. Go to theplaystationshow.com for all your PlayStation needs, and that's it. See you until next time. Bye.